This episode of Lifehacker is brought to you by Busted Tees. Hey, welcome to Lifehacker's party episode. We're gonna use binder clips to organize the beverages in your fridge, learn a clever trick to remember people's name at the party, and we're gonna learn to open a bottle with pretty much anything. So come on in and let's get to it. Next time you're trying to fit a bunch of beverages in your refrigerator, this handy binder clip hack is a wonder. Just take the ubiquitous office supply and clip it to the rails in one of your shelves and you can start stacking as many beverages as you want and still keep a nice room in the other side of the refrigerator. This hack comes in especially handy if you've got tall bottles and they won't fit on a shelf standing up. Just put a couple of clips down, start stacking, and you are good to go. When you're at a party or you're at a business meeting or something like that, it's hard to remember people's names sometimes when you haven't met them before. But here are a couple of tips on actually doing that properly. Hi, I'm Adam. Hi, I'm Whitson. Whitson, uh, how, how do you spell that? W-H-I-T-S-O-N. That's weird. Yes, it is. So you don't want to say that, but you do want to, some, you can ask how to spell a name if it's something unusual, because it can help you remember. And it's also really good to repeat it in your head. But if you do forget their name at some point, what you can do is just take them over to another friend or another colleague and say, hey, uh, I wanted you to meet so-and-so, someone you already know the name of. And then they'll have to introduce themselves again. So there are a couple of tips on remembering weird names like, uh, what, what, what was it again? Nice job. Yeah. In an age of Flickr, Facebook, and Google+, a party didn't really happen unless it was documented. Here are a couple cool projects you can do to photo document your next party. To get started, you can set up a photo booth using your webcam and your computer. Uh, Partygoers love a good photo, and it's a great way to get pictures of people while you're at the party. You can use an app for Windows, or of course, Photo Booth on your Mac to get started with that. The coolest photo project I've undertaken at a party is to install an open source application on my Mac called Gawker. Gawker takes time-lapse photos, you just set it up, run it before the party starts, and just stop it when it's over. By the time you're done, you've got a great looking time-lapse video of your party. There are a lot more cool things you can do, so check out the link on your screen for more information. This week on Lifehacker, we continue to pour over Windows 8. Whitson showed off the new tablet-friendly Metro UI and discovered that while it doesn't exactly work so well without a touch input, it doesn't stop the OS from kicking butt. We also performed some speed tests between Windows 7 and the Windows 8 dev preview and discovered that in almost every arena, Windows 8 was faster than Windows 7. Even though the OS is probably a year away from seeing its public release, we've been really impressed with the stability and quickness. Be sure to check out the site for more details and our ongoing in-depth previews. Next up, Jason Chen continued his studies in the intrepid field of poop science and showed you how to reduce poop splash. I'll just quote Jason on this one. All you need to do is place a strip of toilet paper at the drop zone and it will eliminate almost all the splashback on entry. There's more details and even a video demo on the site, so check out the link if you dare. We covered a lot of your travel needs in our episode a few weeks back, but this week, career traveler and guest poster Nomadic Matt put together a comprehensive list for his methods for traveling the globe without emptying his pocketbook. If you're looking for tips on where to book, when to book, how to get cheap tickets, good seats, or more, be sure to check it out. Finally, Facebook launched their new news ticker this week, and frankly, a lot of you didn't love it. Jason ran down how to disable the news ticker in Facebook using the Adblock Plus extension for Chrome or Firefox or other methods so it doesn't follow you around everywhere you go on the popular social network. So the most important part of any party is the beverages. But if you just can't seem to find where you left the bottle opener, you can use pretty much any household objects to open up your beer. Here are a few of our favorite methods. If you've got a lighter or really any sort of reasonably sized hard object, you can just grab your bottle, get a nice tight grip on it, get the lighter under the lip, and open beer. 
If you can't seem to find some sort of small hard object around, you can usually use a flat surface like a countertop, or if you don't really want to mess with your countertops, something like a cutting board. Just lay it down, just put the beer cap up next to the lid, put your hand on top, bring it up, and come down hard. These are really just a small portion of the different methods you can use. You can use pretty much anything you can find in the house, even a piece of paper and a quarter, which we've shown you how to do before. Hit the link on your screen to see more of our favorite ways. And bottoms up. One of the downsides to having a party is the inevitable party foul, and you're gonna have one drunken idiot friend who's gonna drop a beer on the ground, and then you're gonna be the one stuck cleaning it up. But we found that while you do want to, you know, sweep it up and, do, and try to clean up as much as you normally can, some of those little bits and pieces that end up on the ground are really easy to clean up with a piece of bread. So that's all there is to it. It's an easy way to protect your fingers and clean up your broken bottle mess. Let's take a moment to thank this episode's sponsor, Busted Keys. Whether you're into movies, science fiction, video games, or just wrapping your torso with something weird, Busted Tees literally has you covered. You've probably seen a Busted Tee or two pop up in a movie or TV show, and now you can own one for yourself. Just go to BustedTees.com right now to find the shirt of your dreams. Your hilarious, frightening, and terrifying dreams. Be sure to enter the promo code LIFEHACKER at checkout. You'll get 10% off a rad t-shirt, and you'll be supporting the show. It's win-win. All right, it's time for the downloads of the day. Let's see what we've got. First up is Mix, which is a free and open source music mixing app for Windows, Mac, and Linux that's geared towards hobbyists and even professional DJs. If you want to DJ a party in your apartment or take your skills to the next level, Mix can help with both. In the event you were never meant to be a DJ, however, you should set up a party with web service DJ text. While it's not exactly a download, it's a helpful web app that'll let your friends text their music selections from their cell phones. If you're playing bartender at your next party and you have your iPhone along, check out Top Shelf Drinks. It'll teach you how to make several kinds of drinks, choose your favorites, and add your own to its library. If you're on Android, check out Bartender instead. If gaming is more your idea of fun, download some emulators and have a retro game party. We've picked our favorites for several popular consoles and show you how to get up and running in no time. And that is it for this week. Hope you had a good time, and if you're not feeling so great the morning after, hit up the link on the screen for a few hangover myths, facts, and fictions. We'll see you next time.